How can companies conduct successful business in times of digitization, globalization, and international crisis? One answer is, they must be identifiable globally by providing excellent company data. This can be achieved very simply with the Legal Entity Identifier, or LEI. The LEI is an ISO standard endorsed by the G20. It acts as an international passport for legal entities. The LEI is an alphanumeric code which enables people and businesses to know that your counterpart is who they claimed. Measurement is very important. You can't control what you can't measure. So we put in place a very rigorous program on a daily basis where you measure each aspect of the data in terms of quality. And we publish the results. And with 99% overall data quality, we feel quite comfortable. To provide what it promises, the global LEI system requires high quality, accurate data. But how is the quality of the data checked and monitored? One component is standardization. The LEI is an ISO standard. It's ISO 17442. Uh, that is where I began my association with the LEI and, and the GLIFE, working on, on that standard uh, to be able to identify the legal entities uh, on an international basis. Another component is the development of a data quality program. Data quality cannot be taken as a given for any kind of company. Data quality needs to be actively managed. Therefore, many companies are developing data governance and data quality management program as of today. We at GLIFE, we have developed a robust framework and assigned different data quality gates, just as you know, the security gates at the airport. At these gates, we check different data quality criteria and assess the global data quality of the system. How this works, you just need to follow the LEI lifecycle. At the heart of GLIFE's data quality management are the checks we've developed and assigned to different quality criteria and maturity levels. During the validation and verification process, these checks can be run by our partners in a proactive manner. Legal entities are the owners of their data. They provide this data to the LEI issuing and managing organizations, which validate the information against authoritative sources, such as local business registries. Globally, GLIFE enables its partners, the LEI issuing organizations, to double check the data quality proactively against GLIFE's APIs. From there, the LEI issuing organizations are able to understand and remediate any issues prior to uploading the data in the global LEI system. Like the following LEI issuing organization does. Los registradores realizan un exhaustivo control de la calidad material de los datos en cuanto a su coincidencia con la verdad oficial que publica el registro. Para asegurar La, la calidad lógica y técnica de los datos y su consistencia utilizamos la API que es proporcionada por el ley. The identification of duplicates is a challenge for every organization globally. But there is a solution based on innovative machine learning algorithms supported by pre and post processing steps. One of the proactive checks provided by GLIFE in the PreCheck API is a check for duplicates. The algorithms used by GLIFE take into consideration typos and local specifics of the company data in the duplicates identification process. This ensures that no LEI code is used twice and no legal entity has more than one LEI. Check for duplicates is an important task in the field of machine learning and artificial intelligence. Like here, at the University of St. Gallen, Switzerland. 
The evaluation of um, algorithms that are checking for duplicates is uh, very challenging because there's no ground truth. So what you usually do is you have to handle the complexity that you have to check one item against the entire data set. And secondly, you have to check the individual attributes, for example, of a physical address according to the rest of the database. And this is something that you can do unsupervised, we would say, in machine learning. And uh, this is also the way to go for that. So when I speak about the LEI code, I immediately have Clive in my mind, the umbrella company that is um, at the middle of all the different local organization units in the different countries, concatenating all those LEIs together and creating one list with a unique identifier, getting the quality that we need and making the entire system successful for the future. Reference data within the LEI is not static. It may change over time. For example, due to corporate actions such as relocating the headquarters. Glyph provides a 24-7 challenge facility to the public and enables everyone who has a piece of evidence to challenge the accuracy of a specific LEI. The new information is then automatically routed to the LEI issuing organization, which resolves the challenge and sends feedback to the requester. But is the LEI accepted within the financial world? The European Central Bank, ECB, is one of the biggest banking authorities worldwide. Here, the data quality of the LEI is challenged on a daily basis and must withstand a strong evaluation. LEI is indeed unique worldwide. It enjoys public level sector support to the G20 endorsed charter and has entered legislation in various jurisdictions. There will be no other entity identification with those specifications. The LEI indeed deserves our support and we are committed to develop the LEI further together with Clive and our global partners. The LEI operates as a true international passport for companies, enabling smarter, less costly and more reliable business.